So the customer's saying that the check engine light's on, but it's not on for me. His his initial he asked me if the bulb was burned out because he was worried about a code that was in there. So um, you know, I I thought maybe you know it's a used car guy auction stuff. Maybe someone pulled the bulb out. I've seen that before. But then I went in there and I have, you know, when I start the car, maybe it does come on. If you get two fails right now, I don't have any codes. But if you, sorry. I, I saw the code before I cleared it just to see if it would come back on me. And it tells you to turn the lights on and off because I'm dealing with a an electrical load detector. Let's see if it now showed up. It's not there. So, try that one more time. Start the car. No codes to display. Turn the headlights on. Get back to codes. And we have the ELD voltage high code, P1298. I don't know if any of you uh, Honda guys know if this will even turn the light on. Um, you know, but he wants it fixed, so I figured I'd look into it. So. What an ELD is, is an electric voltage detection um, system, and it says USA only. So it looks like an inline ammeter, to be honest with you. I don't know. Got, I was able to get the part through Dorman, through my local advance. I mean, they didn't have it in stock, but 601. 019 It's like somewhere around 30 bucks or something like that. So um, So it looks like it looks like just like it might be just an ammeter But like I said, I'm not too familiar with the system, but I'll show you how I tested it and How I'm going to replace it, which I don't know yet but you'll see it in the fuse box and there's a slot here where a just a, a um, bar goes through in between two bolts and maxi fuses so it's checking for a load on the electrical system um, my research has something to do with probably charging I don't know if it would do anything with the idle or not but it probably is part of the charging system to be more efficient with what they're doing with the alternator so anyway it's pretty simple you have on number one you have your black orange I think that says that's just check that fuse if you want but I just found the unit and I have 12 volts on number one then you have a ground and it's saying you know it's just it's not even a computer ground it's just a ground on the bumper so we'll check that ground and then uh, then the last one is this green red one green red number 10 goes over and then goes 10 there and it goes green red not used for Canada so Steve Rob you're not gonna probably ever see this so I don't know if I'll be able to help you with this one unless you get a USA car so but it's just the ELD so there's the detection circuit so Mitchell had you pull and like all kind of pull the computer out and check for resistance across the ELD unit and the uh, you know the computer harness and all that stuff I, I didn't really want to go that far well what you have is I'll show you the other side in a second but here is the back side of the fuse box and hopefully that didn't die on me here I'm outside see it's like 60 degrees and it's beautiful out here 
finally winter is over. So if I can get to an area where we can see this, you can see I'm I'm on the ELD sense wire, 4.6 volts. It's saying I think if this was, it was above 4.5 or you know in that four and a half area for more than five seconds, it'll 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 uh, kick this code. So what you have is if you get down to see I actually have it unplugged so that is coming that's the computer sense voltage so that to me you know I could have a short to five volts but with it unplugged I'm seeing that when I plug it back in I lost my circuit here if I go back to my green orange wire you can see I still have 4.5 so there's not much changing and then if I go to the power side you can see I have battery voltage and then the center one here was my ground you can see I have zero volts at ground so if I want to you know, just to make sure it's not just open electrically I'll just use the calibration I had before so I'm showing you know 0.9 ohms but it's running so there's a loaded circuit but if I turn the just turn the car off here but with the car off I have like 2.9 ohm so I mean it's a little bit higher than I'd like I'd like to see less than that but we'll have to check those grounds when I'm done but the concern I have, you know, at the moment, well, if I got, I don't have it plugged in here. I just checked that not unplugged. It didn't matter, plugged in or not. But the concern I had was the actual sense voltage. Being stuck at the uh, 4.5, so, um, you know, and if I had a too high of a resistance to ground, I'd be seeing my voltage there because it's a 12 volt circuit. So I'm not gonna chase that ground at the moment. I'm gonna put the part in. I'll show you where it's at. Well, I showed you the bottom half of the fuse. So you take that off. Turn my bandage off. And what you have here is in between this bar, you got your 80 amp fuse here going between your battery input and out. Maybe that's going to the alternator. And then you have a 40 amp over here. And there is just a bar running between that part. So it's hard to find now that I lost the part. I don't know where I put it. Real quick in the middle of running around looking for that part, I realized that with the, I had the key on, which gave me my two or some ohms. Now I'm at 0.36. All right, so I'm gonna disconnect the battery because I'm playing with big lugs on the on the fuse box so it won't arc and all of that stuff so it looks like you can flip this thing over I don't know if that's going to come in or not and there's just a push tab to unplug the bottom of the ELD I believe you're taking the fuses out. Hopefully the wind that I'm feeling doesn't come through. Take the 80 amp out there. Take the 40 amp out there. Should. It's popped right up out of there. Look at that stuff. 
that's it. Huh. See if I can remember. Put it right there. So there's the new one. Line it up the same way. Slide this one on. Slide this one back in. Put it back down on the lugs. it. Tighten the four screws. Plug this thing back in. And hopefully I see a different reading here. So I'll go to my, I think it was the black orange one. No, it was the, I had it going this way. Green orange. So I got it hooked back up. Got to hook my battery back up. Right now I'm not showing anything on there. And if that'll show up, I gotta shadow the hazards of filming outside. You can see nothing yet. So I'll hook my battery up. Of course, I don't have anything happening. The key's not on. I don't have power on it yet. Hook the battery up. I'll turn the key on and hopefully I see something. And I have 4.23. So let's get uh start it up. If I still show it up in there, it's a 3.85. It's really coming through terribly. You see with my head in the way, look here there I am. If it's 3.9, let's turn, put a load on it. Turn the headlights on. I'm at 3.19, so you can see that it's actually reading something now. So I'm not above that four and a half threshold. So my guess is when I turn the uh, Go look at my codes. Ah. Back to somewhat less light. I mean, the outside thing is just not working, is it? So, no codes to display. Get back out of there. No codes. Codes, the lights are on, so it just kind of cleared itself. Like I said, I don't know if this will turn the check engine light on or not, but he wanted that taken care of. No, I did. I wish I would have. I had this, but I wasn't filming when I saw saw this. But under the data stream, we have the ELDA. Now I'm pretty much showing battery voltage here, and it's bouncing between, you know, 13, 2, and 14. That that PID was at point 
it might have been minus 0.18 it was like essentially zero and I didn't know what I would want to see so my guess is what I'm looking at here is um, you know when you're just looking at battery voltage and why it's changing you know is the uh, is that because of uh, the alternator kicking on and off I really can't tell you so I just know what I saw and what I have now so if any of you guys have experience with it all the input is always greatly appreciated so um, that's pretty much it I'll, uh, I don't got nothing else to say man so it's a short video but thanks for watching hopefully help someone out